If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. In QuickBooks, you can also use the Easy Step interview to create a company file. You complete the Easy Step interview by entering information into different screens shown in the interview. After entering information into a screen, then click the Next button to proceed to the next screen and repeat the process. After answering all questions in all the screens, click the Go to Setup button to start using QuickBooks. Within the Easy Step interview, if questions arise that you must answer and you are unsure of the correct answer, don't worry. You can usually go back and change your answers later. In most screens, you can click the Back button to return to a previous screen and change your answers. Also, if necessary, you can click the Leave button to exit the Easy Step interview. However, if you leave the Easy Step interview before saving your company file, your data entry up until that point will be lost. A message box will tell you if this is the case before you exit, so you need not worry about losing your data. If you are new to QuickBooks, you should consider creating a company file that is not your actual company file, but is similar in nature, a dummy company. That way you can practice creating transactions you would be likely to enter into your own company file without placing your own real company file data in jeopardy. You can create as many company files in QuickBooks as you would like. Also, if you set up a fake company file, it can be easier to train others in your company in the basic bookkeeping involved with the company without risking the integrity of your actual company's data file. Before entering data into the Easy Step interview, you need to gather some information. First and most importantly, you need to select a start date for your QuickBooks company file. The start date is the date as of which you will enter all of the balances in the accounts used by your company file. Because of this, you may want to pick a date that isn't too far in the past, since you need to record each transaction that has occurred from the start date through the current date to ensure you create a company file that is both financially accurate and also ready for daily data entry. Many people choose the last day of the previous financial period, like a quarter or month, as the start date. Remember, you must enter all the transactions that have occurred from the start date through the current date, or at least enter accurate journal entries representing those transaction values, to use the company file and have accurate balances. So don't go too far into the past if you don't want to spend hours performing data entry. You also need to know the account balances of your checking, savings, and any other accounts within the company file as of the start date. This can often be found on a balance sheet created as of the start date. If that isn't available, bank statements as of the start date can also be used. You also need to have a Federal Employer Identification Number, or FEIN, or the Social Security Number found on your company's tax returns. Once you have all of this information, you can start the Easy Step interview. To create a company file in QuickBooks, select File, New Company from the menu bar, or click the Create a New Company button in the No Company Open dialog box that appears in QuickBooks when there is no company file opened to view the QuickBooks desktop setup window. In this window, select an option button to choose for whom you are creating the company file. Then click the Other Options drop-down button and select the Advanced Setup command to start the Easy Step interview. Within the Easy Step interview, you can see the interview progress meter at the left side of the screen. As you complete the screens in the Easy Step interview, your overall progress appears in this meter. In the first screen labeled Enter Your Company Information, you enter information about your company. Required fields are noted by a red asterisk to the left of the field name. Begin by entering the name of your company into the Company Name field. Then move to the next field by pressing the Tab key on your keyboard or by clicking into the next field with your mouse. The next field is the Legal Name field. This is most often the same thing as your Company Name field, but can be different for DBA businesses. Next, enter either your FEIN or Social Security number as appropriate into the Tax ID field. Then enter your complete street address into the street address field set. Enter your city into the city field. Then select the abbreviation for your state from the state drop-down menu. Next, enter your zip code into the zip field. Select your country from the country drop-down menu if needed. Enter your phone number and fax number if desired into the phone and fax fields using the formatting you want displayed on your forms within QuickBooks, like invoices for example. You can enter a default email address for the company into the email address field. You can also enter the website address of your company into the website field if you would like. Once you have finished entering data into this screen, click the Next button to continue. 
In the next screen, titled Select Your Industry, select the type of company for which you are creating a company file from the list of choices shown. The choice you make here determines which features are enabled and which default accounts are placed into your chart of accounts. You can always customize these features later, but selecting an industry from the list will typically reduce the amount of customization required. If your specific industry isn't listed, either select the closest industry listed or select the General Product-Based Business or General Service-Based Business choices from the list of choices. An important point to note is that the answer you make here will change what questions the Easy Step interview will pose as you continue. So the questions posed to an individual who selects retail shop or online commerce will be different from an individual who selects church or religious organization. For example, setting up sales tax would be a part of the Easy Step interview for the retail shop or online commerce selection, but not for the church or religious organization selection. After making your industry selection, click the Next button to continue. The next screen asks how your company is organized. Select the option button that corresponds to the legal structure of your company. This helps QuickBooks in choosing accounts for your company's chart of accounts and also in assigning accounts to tax form lines. After making your selection, click the next button to continue. In the next screen, you select the first month of your fiscal year from the drop-down menu. Your fiscal year is quite often the same as your tax year. A fiscal year is simply a 12-month period used for reporting a company's financial status. For many companies, the first month of the fiscal year is January. This allows them to have the fiscal year coincide with the income tax year. Once you have selected the first month in your fiscal year, click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, titled Set up your administrator password, you can create a password for the administrator account of your company file. The administrator account has access to all of your company's financial information. However, you can create users and assign access privileges at any time. An administrator password is required to restore a data file that contains sensitive data like credit card numbers, social security numbers, or FEIN information. To create a password for the administrator account, enter it into both the administrator password and retype password fields. If you do this, make sure that you know what this password is. Also note that passwords you create are case sensitive. When you are ready, Click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, called Create Your Company File, you create the actual QuickBooks company file that you will use. This is when you decide what to name the company file and where you will save it. Note this information as you will most likely need it later. When you are ready to save the company file, you can click the Next button to continue. Doing this will launch the File Name for New Company dialog box. This is a standard Windows Save As dialog box. Use it to select the folder into which you want to save the company file. After selecting where to save the company file, enter the name to give to the company file into the File Name field. This defaults to the company name entered on the first screen of the Easy Step interview, but you can change it if needed. After you know where you will save the file and what you will name it, click the Save button to save the company file and return to the Easy Step interview. The next screen you will see in the Easy Step interview is the Customizing QuickBooks for Your Business screen. The screen informs you that the next several screens will customize your QuickBooks company file by asking you questions about your company, your customers, and how you pay your bills. At this point and hereafter, you can click the Leave button in the lower left corner of the Easy Step interview screen to save your progress and return later to complete the Easy Step interview if needed. Once you are ready to continue, click the Next button. Next for your industry selection, the Easy Step interview shows a series of screens that allow you to customize your company file for your industry type. Answer any questions posed in each screen, and then click the Next button to continue until you have finished customizing your company file. When you have finished answering all of the questions in the Easy Step interview, you will see the final Congratulations screen. Click the Go to Setup button to open a window that instructs you to create your customers, inventory, and vendors. You can close this window when you are finished reviewing the next steps that you should take to complete setting up your company file. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. 
See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.